Stephen Jobs used to say that we should start designing our process, products and services from the client experience, not the other way around. However, most traditional conventional companies leave the client experience for the ending and usually this is not a happy one. This course online will help you to design starting from identifying the attributes and the steps of your client experience and then flowchart all the processes, all the moments of truth to provide that experience aligning processes, technology, human resources, competences to serve your client. So you will leave the course with one complete set of specs for your client or your company. We must start with the customer experience and work back toward the technology, not the other way around. That was what Stephen Jobs taught us. What's the key difference between a mediocre or a great company, the client experience? We know Amazon, Starbucks, Whole Foods, or Apple, not just because products or services. We might not even know their products or services, but we know that they provide a unique experience when we use, when we receive, and when we experience their products and services. And, of course, the client experience is more than products or services. If you have seen this experience in the airport versus your experience receiving or returning things from Amazon, you will realize that a client experience is worth much more than your ticket. How can we make it happen? Well, we design the client experience. The Starbucks experience has attributes and steps. So we go step by step and we look for the attributes. How fast, how correctly managed, what are the products we deliver in each step, and we look to define our moments of truth, and then we look for the support, the technology, the people, the policies and the processes that have to be in place in order to deliver. This is the value creation engine. Customer first. Here is where the rubber meets the road. So we define micro products and services, a business model that has to work, and we define the client experience. Then that help us to design processes, which personal how the logistics had to be, what kind of infrastructure we had to have in place, and what kind of technology. And then we start the entire process is vision, business indicators, then we move in the third stage to products and services, then we see how to put them in a client experience, and then we define processes, personal logistics, infrastructure, and technology. At the same time, we have to look at our partners, the ecosystem. So we have shared clients. How are the other parts that provide these? And we design a value chain. For example, how is the visitor and resident of a city experienced? Well, it depends on a series of factors. When we answer to depends, we see that we have security, housing, infrastructure, healthcare and sanitation, schools, touristic attractions, access, employment. Each one of these creates jobs, suppliers, and opportunities for different companies and investors if they all work together aligning their resources to run the client experience.